But I want to dive right into Paul Simon and this prophetic dream. This is crazy that Paul Simon is coming around again this month with a new album, Seven Psalms, which was inspired by a vivid dream he had on the project on January 15th. 2019. I think this is incredible because he says it's an argument over what he believes. So does he believe in Jesus? He said the dream is so strong that he got up and wrote it down, but he had no idea what that meant. But I want to dive right into Paul Simon and this prophetic dream. This is crazy that Paul Simon is coming around again this month with a new album, Seven Psalms, which was inspired by a vivid dream he had on the project on January 15th, 2019. And this is due this week, uh, May 19th. The seven part composition is meant to be listened to as one continuous piece and was predominantly performed by Simon, according to a statement from the album. But I want to play this clip for you where you can hear about Simon talking about this himself. This is a journey for me to complete. This whole piece is really an argument I'm having with myself about belief or not. Trying all the time to move things in this kind of flow way that puts you in a dream. And I think if you're willing to fall into a dream space, you're willing to let your judgment down. On January 15th, 2019, I had a dream that said, you're working on a piece called Seven Psalms. But the dream was so strong that I got up and I wrote it down but I had no idea what that meant. Gradually, information would come. I would start to wake up two or three times a week between 3.30 and 5 in the morning, and words would come. I'd write them down and start to put it together. No, I think this is incredible because he says it's an argument over what he believes. So does he believe in Jesus? He said the dream is so strong that he got up and wrote it down, but he had no idea what that meant. He's 81 years old now. I want to point that out. He's 81 years old. He was, I mean, one of the most iconic sounds of the 70s. The Jesus people revolution was going on, and Simon and Garfunkel were also going on at the same time. And they often used scriptural uh, messages in their songs. Well, Simon, after he heard this was, you're writing seven psalms, or you're making this music, he began to read the book of Psalms and began to wrestle with his own uh, version of what he thinks Jesus is or who Jesus is to him. And he processes some of this in the new trailer, which also teases an upcoming Alex Gibney directed film, which is called Restless Dreams. He said, gradually information would come. I would start to wake up two or three times a week between 3.30 and 5 in the morning. Some of you can relate to this. And words would come. I'd write them down and start to put them together. He told Page Six he was going to Brazil to see a spiritual man who we know is New Age. This is the man, John of God, who Oprah is also connected to. But as it turns out, John of God didn't quite deliver. Simon said his healing comes from Christian teachings, but it was not a religious event for Paul Simon. He didn't really have anything that fixed what I was going through, if that's the right word, Simon said. But I've been thinking about it more and more lately. And like the last year or so, my dreams are getting longer and more sort of explosions. Simon feels he can sometimes gain control of his dreams. Adding the trip to South America didn't have a dramatic effect on him, but allowed him to think in a way that was more spiritual. And as he's been studying the scriptures, linking him more to a Judeo-Christian way of thinking, I'm beginning to understand things about my life and who I am now. Realize, again, he's 81 years old, and he's just now saying, I'm beginning to understand things about my life and who I am. He said in a moment of reflection, I feel like this is what I'm up to doing. Like This is what he has left in him. One thing about the trailer is that it features clips of music, which is full of Christian Im imagery so far. The Lord is my record producer was one of the uh, you know, ways that he described the project. And he says, I'm having an argument with myself about belief or not, like I said earlier. It also shows Simon working collaborators, such as the vocal ensemble uh, V-O-C-E-S-8 and his wife, Edie Burkell, who sings on the project, plus the string section and jazz trumpeter, Wynton Marcellus. I'm trying all the time to move things and this kind of flow way that puts you in your own dream, Simon explains, of seven psalms. And I think if you're willing to fall into that dreamlike space, you're willing to let your judgment down, like your judgment of what is and isn't an album for starters. So I thought this was super interesting that another celebrity, we've had Dolly Parton this year, we've had you know Glenn Beck in the last 12 months, we've had, uh, we've, we've had recently another one that I reported last week, all share dreams that they've had and how it's had a profound impact on their career, how it's had a profound impact on how they view God. And I think there's something happening, whether they're Christians or not, 
that they're using language of Jesus, of the Lord, of the Bible. And again, seven Psalms. After he wrote the Psalms, he knew how to write the music for this album. I'm super curious. What do you guys think? Well, before we go on, I want to give a special shout out to Birch Gold. They are our sponsor for this show. And I'm so glad because they really are helping people secure their retirement investments. We know in these uncertain times, I mean, it's so crazy right now. Safeguarding your financial future has never been more critical. And that's why our sponsor, Birch Gold Group, is so good at what they do. They're recognized as a leader in the industry. Birch Gold Group specializes in helping you protect your hard-earned assets through the power of precious metals. Uh, why precious metals? Well, they've withstood the test of time even now, proving to be a reliable form of wealth, even in the midst of a volatile market, fluctuating interest rates, and widespread financial difficulties. It's an age-old method of ensuring your nest egg and that it remains secure. So no matter what the storms are that are coming, you'll have security. Birch Gold doesn't just offer a secure method to protect your money. They also provide a protection solution for, to diversify your 401k or your IRA with precious metals. And this is an essential step to keep your retirement investment account safe and stable, especially in today's unpredictable financial climate. So the good news is starting your journey with Birch Gold has never been easier. They're offering a free information packet to all of my listeners of The Sean Bowles Show. Simply visit birchgold.com uh, forward slash Sean Bowles so birchgold.com forward slash John Bowles and request your free packet today.